Hi guys, it's Tom from TrainSim TV, and I'm bringing you a new video for Train Simulator 2019. Today we are on the all-new North Wales Coast Hollyhead um, to crew. Well, yeah, Hollyhead to crew. It's the missing part of that was never included on the original North Wales Coast, um, which ran up as far as uh, Cladudno Junction. So this now adds in the missing, the miles that were missing. So, we're on a bit of a modified scenario. Um, it's a def these are the default scenarios, but I've just uh, I've cloned it to make it a standard scenario, and I can add my own um, piece of stock to it just because I don't like driving with the default sound. It's it's just my opinion. Um, so it's the first look. I've never driven it yet, so what you see is as much as I'm going to see. So let's get in there and let's get going. So we're on. Um, a 1582 car Perkins uh, DMU on 158818 for this journey. Just going to set our cab up. So, we are one Golf 40. This as well, we're going as far as uh, Camden No Junction, which is a journey of just under an hour about 55 minutes. I'm going to open my doors as well. One G40. And I don't know what the signal is, so I'm going to go into the uh, HUD. Uh, that's number 23 in the HUD, the, uh, the map, sorry. I'm just going to put 023 in there. Let's close it off. So, just before we get moving, I'm just going to go and have a little fly around at Hollyhead, just to have a look. And as you can see, there's plenty going on. Fantastic station models as well. Plenty of atmosphere. Uh, very, very, very looking forward to driving this as well. Look very nice. Big station, I didn't realise how big it was actually. I didn't realise there was two sort of like sections that split off. Got the dock area as well. Nice bridge. And the route comes with a number of scenarios. Um, it comes with a bit of stock as well. You get them. Um, you do get a class 158, a 175, and a 221, if I'm remembering correctly. I've just swapped them over to use ones with different sounds. Bit more realism, make more effect for the video. So we've got our destination correctly set as well. So we're due off here at 27 past. We're going to be calling at uh, Valley. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to pronounce these because I'm going to absolutely balls it up, and I know for a fact that you lot will troll me for it. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm gonna. Go for, you can see it on the list here. I'm not gonna embarrass myself. I can say a few. Can we? <laughs> I know that one. No valley. There's a few that I can't pronounce. It's just a bit too much for me. Pen memoir. I know that one. There we go. Right, let's get moving. departure. Already uses with atmosphere. Plenty of scenery. Good job on the foliage. 
the semaphore sequence, what more do you want? Just need some 37s now, we might add it. Which I'm no doubt sure will happen at some point within the community and train sim. When that comes, they'll most likely just be over that as well. Concentrating on the section from here, well, here, Conway, where it ended originally on the last version. And all the way up to Hollyhead. It's a journey of about 40 miles, all in all. This, this trip is about 55 minutes long. so you can hear me a bit better. Plenty of scenery going on here, some disused yards here as well. Sidings. I assume it's all disused. Oh no, it's still connected up there. Excellent. And this route as well opens up quite a lot of um, possibilities now for scenarios. Rather than just your straightforward run up to Condon now. There's a few, uh, I think there's a few yards on this section as well. So you've got one here, which we've just gone past for it. This is a uh, Hollyhead Metalworks, sorry. You've also got. I don't know if that's got a name on it. Let's have a look. You've got um, Valley Industrial Site, I think that's like nuclear. Possibly. That's the side of the banger, not a thing you ever used to run from there or not. There's a few bits and pieces. We're coming up to Valley Station as well now. Ignore the um, the terrain bleed on the track, that is down to me using the AP track enhancement pack. That won't appear on the um, your version if you buy it um, straight out of the box and you don't have the AP track pack. It's just down to the track levels being a bit different to the default setting. So this is Valley Station. It's quite a small station so you don't be coming here too quick and getting it wrong. So just about houses a two car unit. I'm assuming we've got both. No, you need to get just about right, I think, to get both doors open. Could have gone a little bit further up. Again, some lovely assets. Um, nice little station building there. Like a shut down station, actually, is that. Nice signal boxes again. That's what I like with this line is the semaphore and 
um, signal box is all over it. And this is the industrial. Oh, yes, is it? It's either a container plant or it's used for nuclear flasks. I'm not overly sure on that one myself. If you know, please do put in the comments. My guess is nuclear. Next station is uh, 17.3 miles away, so we must be chopping a few stations through here. Again, nice scenery. Light going on here. Good use of assets. Again, plenty of atmosphere. I use that word a lot, but yeah, it definitely has character about it. And this end seems to so far have more character than the original part. That we had. Whether there's just more scenery being put in there or on top of what you have originally worked on or what, I don't know. Obviously, the other ones are a year or two old now. The FPS are running very well as well. I'm getting uh, currently. 70 FPS at the moment and even with a slight lag spike there on the tile load it went up it went down to 50 so very very uh, smooth playing as well Plenty of caravan sites again, just the same as the original um, existing part we already have in the game. You can see again, plenty of uh, caravan parts along the coast of North Wales.
we'll be featuring this route in the stream as well. Um, in the, I'm hoping probably on the next stream actually, which will be uh, Friday. We'll end up running a different scenario most likely. <coughs> Again, nice little station with level crossings and signal box and that looks like a different signal box from what we've not seen before. Ty Crows, I assume I've said that right. I am speeding a bit, I do apologise. Must watch that speed. Too busy looking at the scenery. Some very, very nice assets uh, from what I've seen up to now, anyway. Which is very good. Not just recycled. the Voyager I swap that one over to use the uh, just trains version the, the sounds on that are quite a lot more improved <laughs> with the AP pack and again another nice little walking station there uh, very nice Possibly some new houses actually as well back at the sea. Again, apologies if I sound a bit bunged up, I'm trying to sniffle too much. Slightly dropping down at the minute. Uh, we're in 98 here.
another one I've used also is um, I've swapped the weather to use the AP weather enhancement pack. I just feel um, that the weather for this type does it a bit more justice as well. <coughs> it, yeah, it definitely brings out some more colour in the, uh, the the scenery and that makes it a bit more brighter. We're six and a half miles to our next station. It's one that I'm not going to pronounce because I'll end up getting it wrong, but you should be able to see it if I bring the F1 up. My uh, my Welsh is not very good at all. Most of I get ridiculed for my pronunciations within the stream. I murder a lot of places. Don't mean to. More of a case if I've never been there, I don't really know. Well, I'll say it the way I think it's said, but it's wrong. It'll get pointed out upon anyway. <clears throat> and I still get it wrong. <laughs> Give it a couple of days or a couple of streams on, I'll still get it wrong. There's certainly, I have not seen these before, there's certainly a new range of housing assets included with this route by the looks of it. Whether they're just reskins or not, I don't know, but they look they look fairly new to me. Assets uh, for route builders there, some very, very uh, useful stuff by the looks of it. Especially new signal boxes and that. <clears throat> Could never have enough assets. Again, plenty of new stuff. Random disused buffers. Was there another line here? Maybe at one point a siding. If anyone knows that, put that in the comments.
but the station's ju it's just up there now. Currently, the level crossing gates are shut as well. I'm assuming these will open well in advance, like. Slightly overdone that. Apologies. Yeah, I was definitely never going to uh, pronounce this one. If you can say the whole mouthful, then fair play to you because of that. I just simply wouldn't even dream of attempting. Yeah, nice, uh, lovely station, nice assets. And there you go, you got the other, the Reva branded version. We're coming up to 40 now. Got no actual clue on what this bridge is called. Um, is it not? Is it Millennium Bridge or something like that? I'm just trying to figure it out now. I'm just looking on the internet to find this information. But it's got. It carries the road bridge above. Am I right? The original one burnt down as well. I read somewhere in a fire. Of course. <coughs> very very nice asset that is. Lovely bridge. It's an interesting one as well. Not many bridges that um, do this in the country, is there? Very well made. <laughs> and now we draw it back onto the double section.
I've got some information on the bridge. It's, so it's called the, the Lamfair Menai Bridge. If I'm correct, that's what it says on Flickr anyway. I'm just looking through the images on it, get a bit of information. Brit is it Britannia? Punctubla Britannia, another one saying, so. Interesting. Very nice bridge. I should probably do some more research before I do a video, but I was that keen to get this video made. Because it's hot off the press. I just sort of jumping straight in here. No doubt it'll be covered again at some point. Uh, next station is Bangor as well, by the way. In just under a mile. That just lies at the other end of this tunnel. I like how that signal box is sort of integrated in with the uh, retaining wall as well. Something looks like it's been missed off there by the looks of it, the name's not been capped. Not to worry, not to worry, I'm sure it'll be fixed at some stage. Looks like they've done one side and not the other. <coughs> like something's slipped through. So we've got a couple of moments here, so time would you off uh, 59, the two minute layover here. Another 15 miles to go on this journey. We're due in at uh, the junction at 21 minutes past 12. We're nearing 12 o'clock now as well. So it's 15 miles per hour off the loop, back onto the uh, main. Should jump back up to 75, I would have thought, um, when we get the tunnel. It was 75 before we uh, left into the platform. Yeah. 
here we go, 75. Again, the scenery everywhere, all these warehouses, they've all been. Oh, these are all little blocks, aren't they? Well, I like these. Very, very uh, handy to have the asset uh, blocks of warehouses. Not all of them in one blocks, but yeah, these ones. But they've got roads in them and stuff. They've got enough with the trees and the containers that it saves you as a root builder if you ever use them. Plenty in the resources. They do the same with the housing blocks as well. But the, the housing blocks came in first before um, the units and stuff like that. The I think the housing blocks came around with the uh, Liverpool to Manchester route. I think the warehouses then sort of came along with the first version of North Wales coast. Stuff like that I wish it was around a lot more back in the past really. It would have helped me massively with my roots. And no doubt with a lot of other people's roots as well. They're very very handy to use. attempt to pronunciation is I would say that's uh clam fart action I'm assuming that is apologies if I've just killed it I, I did state that I'm very bad with pronunciations of places Now also I'm aware that the AP Class 319 Volume 2 has, re, uh, has just been released yesterday, so the day before I recorded this video. Um, that's going to be getting featured as well at some stage on the channel. The queue with other things to be fitting. Yeah. 
speed is opened up at 90 miles an hour as well now. We will be dropping again soon because we're not too far from the next station. Just under two miles now. Some cows. the station is just on this bend. You just about to see it coming into view now. This bend drops to 75 and then back opens to 90 at the end of the platform. Now some of these stations obviously have not got much on them um, in terms of uh, facilities like this one's only got a couple of little huts but the, the huts are very very nicely made as well. I like the texture on them, the old stone. I like these uh, footbridges as well. Very clear detail on them as well. They're fair enough. They're only t uh, 2D in the in the centre part, but the texturing is very very nice. Stop to Pemmemoir. Nice little village. Well, little town. I like this section. We'll just skirt the uh, estuary, well, not the estuary, there's the sea now, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful this. I can't fully recommend it enough. Only slight glitches here and there. There's no nothing that's really ruining it from my experience. There's a couple of slight little gaps in the tunnels and disregarding the trap lead here because that's um, down to the use of me using the AP trap. Pack. 
Um, otherwise, all go. Go and grab, uh, grab yourself a copy of this. You won't be disappointed. And no doubt when some 37s come into the uh, into the mix, that experience will even be more. Yeah, that's one thing I'm looking forward to. Station must be just be beyond this little bridge here. One seven five just leaving as well. Now, we've not actually spoken of pricing yet. Now, I'm going to go over that in a moment. There's a few different ways you can do this. Now, I'm just going to stop here. Probably a little bit too far, actually. I'm at six car marker, but never mind. Right, now. If. Uh, da -da -da, right, let me take this right. To read my information on there, what I can see. Right, so you can, if you already had the, the original North Wales Coast, which went from Crewe to uh, London, no, you can pick up the extension, uh, which extends you down to Holyhead for what says here is £9.99, which uh, I'm just making sure this is right. Uh, yep, £9.99 you can get that extension for, which in my eyes is an absolutely fantastic value. Now, if you don't have the extension, uh, you can buy the whole route. Um, right, hang on, yeah, you can buy the original North Wales Coast um, crew to Clondon, no, still for £24.99, and then buy the extension for £9.99. Um, there was another one there, I've just lost it. Hang on a moment. There's another bundle. On Steam. I've just seen. If you type North Wales Coast, there's a bundle that comes up. Now, North Wales Coastal plus North Wales Coastal Extension Twin Pack. Um, all together you can get that. For, so, yeah. So, 34 98 so isn't actually. It's, it's just bundling the two together. Um, yeah. I think. Yeah, I think that's right. There's a few different ways you can do it. So if you've already bought the, the the first part, you can just get the extension onto that. So it's quite a good uh, little offer that, to be quite honest. Now, what you get with the actual pack, you get you get three rail fan scenarios, and then you get seven uh, career scenarios also in there. Um. You get the uh, class 221 Super Voyager in the Virgin Trains livery. You get the class 175 Caradia in Arriva Trains Wales livery. And you get the class 158 Express Sprinter in Arriva Trains Wales livery. Yeah, it's quick drive compatible also. So you have quick drive. Don't worry. I feel like I should just jump in and get going. Just for a quick drive here and there. On the pub. This scenery is absolutely beautiful. Plenty going on. I like that backdrop as well, just with the hills. I can see some fantastic scenarios coming for this, whether it's rail tours or what, or backdated into the 80s in the, uh, the heyday. I 
and we go back to 75 at the other end of this tunnel. Next station is Conway, so we're not too far now from the uh, journey's end on this one. We can pick scenarios, of course, which uh, run straight through now, which is great. Another thing which I'm hoping to see is maybe the the backdated train sim um, adding their Conway Valley onto this. That'd be nice to see. I'm not sure if services will run all the way through, right? Like, but from Hollywood to there, but it's just nice to have that in there. I'll be keeping my eye on that one. So if anyone obviously doesn't know about that, that data train sim, give them a look on uh, you, uh, YouTube or Facebook, and you'll probably see some videos on YouTube. But if you look on Google for that data train sim, they have a web page. And there's a free extension for the original North Wales coast route at the moment, which takes you all the way down to um, Plain Isle Festiniog. It's a very, very scenic run. It's quite a chilled run as well. It's uh, I think 45 miles per hour is your, your highest speed, and you, you go down as low as 10 miles per hour in areas. Spirals through the hills up to the uh, where it meets up with the narrow gauge railway at Festiniog. Play now. So we're just approaching Conway now, which was the original end for the first part of the route. I think this it sort of ended around here, didn't it? Possibly. This is the station where it has like the castle bridge at the other end. It's 45 miles per hour near, uh, up until just before London Way opens back to 50 and drops down to 30 again. I'm going to start slowing down now because I'm going to go through the station. I like this station. I love this bridge. That's going to be the screenshot for the video. Right, and the next station is our final stop at London No Junction. Which is just over a mile away from this uh, point. drop down to 30 seeing as we are going to be taking platform 1 <clears throat> just approaching the junction now before the uh, platform
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I will cover it some more at some point. It will be on in the stream at uh, Train Some TV on School Tom. I'll give you the full links on that as well, and they will be in the description below. Once again, this route is fully available. Um, it's just been released today, so um, yeah, go and grab yourself a copy. Of it. Remember, if you've already got the first part, you get the add-on, which is the extension now for 9.99, which is a fantastic um, price, I think, for such a new route. And also, if you've uh, not got any of the routes, the, the pricing is fantastic as well on top of that. So you can get the, both routes for £35. I think in my eyes, that's a bloody good value. <laughs> so don't delay and go and grab yourself a copy today. So here we go. I'm going to open the doors. I'm just going to shut this cab down because obviously we'll end the uh, trip. So, um, yeah, you can uh, grab this from Steam Store, don't forget. Um, please do come and give us a watch on Twitch. Um, you can follow us both, myself and Mark, at twitch.tv forward slash trainsimtv underscore Tom and also at trainsimtv underscore Mark. Um, please do give us a follow and come and give us a watch. Hopefully there will be something on there for you all. Um, and, yeah. Thank you very much for watching today guys and I hope you enjoy the route as much as I have. Take care and see you later.